Let's go back to acquisition uh, and discuss some other tiling options. So um, what, one thing that uh, you may want to do is take an image of a large area uh, that we can then use as a map to explore the sample um, in more detail. So how do you do that? So first, whenever you know, you're know you done doing a particular stitching, you want to do something else, just either unclick it or even sit more safely, just delete the previous one. And uh, let's go ahead and create another region. So what I'm going to do before creating the other region is I'm, I'm only going to take this preview image to go faster on the 488 channel, and I'm going to zoom out. OK, that will make each individual portion bigger uh, so that by doing a five by five, um, I'll, I'll get a, a, a very large area. So I'm going to do five by five. And I'm going to say um, add tile region. You can see this covers a large, larger area than before. And then to have the, the results show up as a map here, I'm going to switch to preview mode and say start. Now what's going to happen is the image will be actually loaded here as we go along. And you can tell that this uh, slide is probably tilted. And that's the reason that we see things in focus in the middle, but out of focus on the other sides. OK. Nevertheless, for the, for the purpose that, that, I the, that I wanted to use this image, which was to show you how you can use it as a map, this will suffice even if it's tilted. Um, if you want to use this to navigate around, what we can do is turn off that map, uh, switch to conditions for sort of higher resolution imaging. So let's say we want to do 2x and with confocal. Now what we can do is if we go to live, we'll have the map on the left side. But if we double click here, we'll, uh, we'll be able to go and see what those regions looks like, look like, excuse me, on the right panel. So this is an easy way of, and you can see that this is a little bit out of focus. This is an easy way of navigating our sample, and it behaves as you would expect, zooming in and out. So overall, this is a, a nice way of creating a simple preview and then using it to navigate and to take uh, sort of higher resolution images. Now, once you have created this preview image, you may want to save it. Right now, it's only saved in this uh, viewer or advanced tile viewer. Um, so you may actually want to save this as a separate image. To do that, you have to right click and say save preview images and then it will save it as its separate thing um, outside of this. So then you'll actually have this map image to take with you. If not, uh, this will just get overwritten every time you're in the preview mode and make a new preview. Alternatively, if you if you take an image uh, with tiling, as I showed you for um, this one, and you want to actually use this as a map, you can do that as well. You can go here um, and then say, if you right click and say import preview image, uh, you can import that as your preview image, the one that you just made. So we can do, if we go here and say save, uh, uh, I'll call it tile. Import preview image. I can import this one, and you can see it's embedded in the right spot, and you can now use it for navigation. So again, you can make a preview image by making, you know, deciding on what kind of tile you want, and then uh, hitting start here in the preview mode, um, or you can take an image separately and then uh, import it as a preview by uh, right clicking here. And once you make a preview, if you want to export that preview, you can right click and save the preview image as its own thing. So it's not, uh, it's not prone to disappearing when you do other things in here. Um, so 
those are sort of different ways of of creating, importing, and exporting previews. 